It was a rainy day in El Paso, but the Sun Bowl was shining bright for the first time in two years. Good evening and Happy New Year's Eve. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Weil. The Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl did indeed take place at the end of a whirlwind week as Central Michigan and Washington State played in the 88th annual game. KTSM 9 Sam Guzman is here with more. Sam? Thank you, Christina. This week threw us plenty of curveballs, so a crazy rainstorm on game day was basically expected, right? Yeah, who knows? Central Michigan arrived to El Paso less than 24 hours before kickoff, hoping to pull off what would be a pretty big upset over Pac-12 foe Washington State. Most importantly, the game returned after a one-year absence due to COVID-19. Unfortunately for these two teams from cold weather states, it was still cold here at the 2021 Sun Bowl. Cougars, seven-point favorites, but it was all about Central Michigan, 13-0. They lead already, but they'd go into halftime with a 21-0 lead. Uh, Joe, Joel Wilson with the touchdown catch right there. Uh, but then the Cougars would battle back, cut the deficit down to three, 24-21 in the fourth quarter. Fourth and five right here. The Cougars rallying. Two minutes to go. Joey Hobart with the catch for a four-yard catch. Officials would try to measure it. It was short. Turnover on downs, and that would eventually give Central Michigan the huge upset win, 24-21 over the Cougars. Running back Lou Nichols named Sun Bowl MVP. Here's winning coach Jim McElwain speaking on his team's efforts today. The, the objective is to win the ball game, and we won it. Um, you know, be watching film all the way home, and these guys will know I'll get a little grumpy, and because uh, I really want them to go out and, and perform to their best ability. But the one thing about this team is they they never quit, and they never gave up, and uh, found a way to win. And in the end, that's what you do. An impressive performance from. The Chippewas against a Pac-12 opponent. It's their first bowl win since 2012. But the game on the field is only half the story. So much went into just making this game come together. KTM's Tawny, Tawny Davis joins us live from the Sun Bowl with more. Well, Sam, it may look empty now, but earlier today, fans from both teams and even local El Pasoans were out here tailgating despite all the rain and cold, ready to cheer on both their teams for one last time this season. Fans came bustling into the Sun Bowl in the pouring rain, excited to see what their teams were going to bring to the field. And for some, the journey was longer than most. For one Washington State fan, even with the possibility of the game not happening, he was excited to see the Cougars one last game. You know, rain or shine, we don't care. Uh, we care about seeing our Cougs play, and, and we really want to give the seniors a chance to shine in front of us before they're uh, off to whatever part of their life is up next. The road to get there was different for Central Michigan fans. After the cancellation of the Arizona Bowl and being invited to the Sun Bowl, one fan decided to make the long trek to El Paso to see his alma mater play once again. Last minute yesterday afternoon, and booked a hotel, booked two game tickets, and drove the nine hours all the way from the Dallas area. For another fan, her son is a center for Central Michigan and was already in Tucson, but was happy to quickly change her plans to see her son on the field one more time this season. It wasn't too bad. We jumped right on it. We got to planning. As soon as we heard that it was a change in the plans, we got right on it. Well, even with all the setbacks, the game went off without a hitch and everyone got to enjoy the Sun Bowl once again. From West El Paso, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Tawny. Coming up at 6 p.m. on KTSM, much more Sun Bowl coverage as Central Michigan dominates Washington State in their first meeting uh, on the field. Quite the turn of events this Friday in the Sun Bowl.